In other news, the tragic death of a California teenager last night, just hours after her insurance company reversed itself and agreed to pay for a liver transplant. Now her family is calling for criminal charges. John Blackstone has more. As 17-year-old Natalie Sarkeesian lay dying in the hospital, friends and nurses marched on the insurance company that had denied her a liver transplant. The company, Cigna, called the transplant experimental, not covered. Insurers will call anything experimental if it's got a six-figure price tag. But yesterday, under pressure, Cigna suddenly changed its mind. Natalie's mother delivered the news. Cigna just approved us. <laughs> But it was too late. Last night, Natalyn died. They took my daughter away from me. Today, the family's attorney said he'll press for Cigna to be charged with manslaughter, even murder. Cigna Health Corporation literally, maliciously killed her. Natalyn's doctors told the insurance company 10 days ago her liver was failing. She needed a transplant to survive. But twice she was taken off the waiting list when Cigna refused to pay. In her battle against leukemia, Natalyn recently had a bone marrow transplant. Her brother was the donor. I gave her a chance. They said she has a chance. And I, I did my part. Someone else didn't do their part. Someone took that chance away from them. This week, the California Nurses Association asked nurses nationwide to phone Cigna in protest. The nurses say insurance companies too often focus on money, not medicine. This is a common story. Oh, this is a common story. This is not isolated. This is not isolated. And I, it's just a symptom of our health care. Insurance regulators get 1.3 million calls a year, says the National Association of Insurance Commissioners. Most complaints are about claim denials, delays, and low settlement offers. In a brief written statement, Cigna says only that its deepest sympathies are with Natalie's family. John Blackstone, CBS News, San Francisco.